it's nothing new But it's so good to see you Good morning everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a video inspired by the Anna edit and I know that she got this video idea from somewhere else but I can't remember. Anyways, it's going to be the monthly day in my favorites vlog. So this will be for April so I'm going to be just kind of like using all of my favorite things throughout the day today and showing you what those are versus just sitting down and then being like this. You know? So this morning, got up, got Rosie out right away. Got into bat shift, which was great. And then because he takes her out, I like rush, make the bed, open up the windows, things like that, check on the plants. We actually have a few plants that have been starting to burst leaf-wise, so that's been exciting. And then as well, the weather here, we are absolutely just buzzing because the weather has been really, really nice. <laughs> And you know, everyone just loves talking about the weather, especially when springtime is here. So with that being said, I've actually got a sunscreen in my favorites, but first I'll start out with a little bit of a little morning skincare routine. I ended up getting in to Sephora right before lockdown, and I'm thrilled that I did. I have a couple of little spots, like a little hyperpigmentation, so I really wanted to pick up some something that's brightening, something that has vitamin C, and I have been using the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum, and I've been really loving it. I was originally, I just take two pumps. It's not for under eye, so I'll just press it into my skin, kind of all around. I originally, when I was in Sephora, I was looking at the uh, the Drunken Elephant Vitamin C Serum, and now it's kind of tough because none of these serums are cheap and especially that one. This one is maybe just a little bit less than that. And um, the girl was like, <laughs> that one's really nice. It's very potent. So if you have if you have sensitive skin, it can definitely be an irritant. I'm talking about the drunk elephant one. And she was like, but the only thing that I really hate about it is the smell. She's like, it smells like weird meat or like bacon or something. So that definitely took me away from that. <laughs> And so the uh, the Summer Fridays one, I mean, it has like a serum-y smell, but it's a little bit more citrus than vegan, <laughs> which is nice. I have also been doing a little moisturization in the morning after the serum, and I have been using the Summer, Flower Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. And this is just the best, the best feeling on your skin. 100% a part of my favorites. It spreads so nice and evenly and it just feels so good and hydrating. So I haven't been putting a ton of that on, just kind of like I put my finger in and it lifts out some product. So that's how much I have been using of that in the morning and I also use that one in the evenings as well. And then because even though we haven't been going outside a ton because Rosie doesn't have all of her vaccines, we're all looking for vaccines here in Canada, I'm sure you can relate. Um, because we haven't been going on like long walks, it doesn't matter. I sit beside a window and edit videos all day or edit content all day. So I've also been starting to put on my sunscreen. Your girl just turned 30, she needs to take care of this, the uh, skincare in the morning and the night. And I got the Super Goop Glow Screen. So this is a broad spectrum 40, which I love. And before making the purchase on this one, I did a ton of research on different sunscreens. I was using a Neutrogena one last year and the year before that on my face and I would just kind of suck it up, but every single time I put that on, it made my face burn. And I don't know why I was just dealing with that one. This one does not do that for me. Now again, it comes with a higher price tag, but at least it doesn't make my skin burn. I read one comment though, and I actually did inquire about this with the, uh, the sales representative. She was so nice. Um, I was like, someone said, if you want to look like a bronze statue, buy this product, <laughs> like in a negative way, but I don't find that. Of course, it makes you look, look glowy, hydrated, maybe a little bronzy because it certainly is tinted versus a regular sunscreen. Like it's got that extra little tint to it, but I could see myself in the height of summer putting on this sunscreen, maybe doing a little concealer in some areas, and I'll show you my favorite one recently, later, because we're gonna do makeup later, um, and just going. It just makes your skin look so healthy. 
I made my tea, my favorite tea, and just got going. So it's time to do my next favorite thing in the morning. Sometimes it's not my favorite, but as soon as I am done it, it is my favorite. I'm sure you can guess. Next thing in my favorites, because we're gonna be doing a workout, and that is the thing I was talking about where I'm like, yes, it's my favorite, but it's also not my favorite. I'm gonna be riding the Peloton today, which is a big part of the faves. But I also made a post about this sports bra on Instagram a little bit ago, I'll put the post right here. And I was inspired to give this free people bralette a try from Haley Ivers, who is a blogger in California. I'm forgetting the place, South Beach? but I was introduced to her by a friend of mine, Sarah. She was like, I think you'll really like this girl, and I do. She's so funny, and she just has great suggestions. And so yes, I am going to be wearing this. It has now become my favorite, favorite sports bra to wear. Now it is a bralette, but I kind of duo it as a sports bra because it has absolutely no wires or anything in that. You can make it into a racer back as well, and the colors are stunning. I actually did get it in a couple of colors this pale pink and then as well this magenta e color i'll also link those on the screen so you can kind of take a look and in a little link down below just because i mean i was influenced maybe you're gonna be influenced <laughs> too and then i'm just gonna wear a pair of lulu leggings i like these ones because they have little vents in them it actually gets very very hot riding the peloton here we are on the second floor so heat rises in our place we call it the nest because it is always so warm which is nice that's how i actually like it it's my favorite and without you i am just a train these are also some of my favorites and this is such a quick tip so scotty ended up getting these for me for i think my birthday last year but he put this little heart moniker on it and that was so brilliant because we both have a pair and we would inevitably just be always grabbing each other's pair. So if you do get a pair for a partner and you already have some, make sure you get that. I just think that's such a, such a good tip. I actually like that you put this on here, Scotty. Because this is one of our absolute favorite things to do as well. We go on YouTube, we look up walking tours, and then we just put it on our big screen. And then it just makes it feel like, I don't know, you look up there and it keeps the wanderlust going and it's just like super relaxing, highly recommend. Oh yeah, baby, we're doing it. Our favorite thing is when Rosie goes on her pad by herself. This will be your last call. 20 minutes you done be alone. This will be your last call. 20 minutes you done be alone. This will be your last call. 20 minutes you done be alone. Workout. Complete. Now it is time for the shower and I will show you some of my favorite products that I use in the shower just like after. <laughs> I'm just so ready to jump in. showed you guys the time it is now 11 19 so Rosie has just been having such a great morning routine she's such a good gal she has been learning so much but she also is still kind of having trouble going to the bathroom outside so I just took her for a run I ended up like sweating in this shirt because I thought it was a lot cooler than it actually is outside she met some kids which is great we love exposing her to kids and now she is having a nap, so officially we can start. I ended up making my favorite breakfast, which is egg whites with that clubhouse sauce, or clubhouse spice that I showed you guys. Avocado with some lemon, a little pinch of salt, and as well a banana. It's like, I don't know why, I just love all those flavors together. It's the bomb. So finally we get to put some makeup on, which is great because I feel like in a part of a favorites video, <laughs> That's like the creme de la creme. Like that's why you come to a favorites video. But also one of my favorite parts of a favorites video is just sitting down and chatting. Just 
getting on the same page, just like having a little vlog chat. So what I have set up here, I've just bought, or brought rather, all of my very basic everyday favorites that I use all the time just for my very basic makeup look. But what I'm also doing, <laughs> this is a hack that my friend Monica did in university when she didn't have like a makeup mirror. She put photo booth on her computer so she could do her makeup and her hair. We're also gonna get into a little hair stuff. So I'm just gonna have that so I can see myself during the process of doing this makeup. First of all, I don't think I've asked you this question. How are you doing? Things have been changing so much here in the province of Ontario with lockdowns. We're back in a lockdown. It's very confusing. It's like there's some things that aren't in lockdown. It's basically just crippling small business. Um, which is very frustrating and everyone everyone has expressed just deep frustration on social obviously because I mean we don't want our ERs to be absolutely at full capacity like they are just having such a bad time with these numbers so that's when you say yeah we've got a lockdown but it just should have happened so much sooner and that's why everyone's so mad so that's how we're feeling out here. The sun is shining though, and thank goodness for that. My skin, it feels so great, and I noticed that I put on that sunscreen right before riding the Peloton, and then I had a shower. I think the reason why I did that this, this morning was because I did it yesterday morning, and I didn't end up having a shower after. I just kind of dried my hair and put a little dry shampoo in there, and it was so perfect because it was second day hair. But I ended up putting on some more sunscreen, so my skin is absolutely moisturized right now. So I think what we're gonna start with, I didn't really put on a base, it's not something that I necessarily do every single day, so I'm going to put on the Your Skin But Better CC Cream. You can tell this has been a favorite, it is absolutely so worn out, and I take the color Fair Light, and if you guys have been here for some time, you'll have seen this before. I typically just put in, like about, about that much and I just put it all over as if I was putting on a cream really <laughs> I think one of my favorite things as we head into this like spring summer kind of vibe I'm now doing bye bye under eye as well by it cosmetics this one I have simply just been testing out for this week could move its way into my favorites but I'm still doing the little test I have been loving how um, like thick it is it's incredible um, I've had these little spots down on my chin and just this little pigmented spot too. What's kind of tough about doing this on photo booth is everything's like a little bit backwards. I love when you get to that point where you just have that really nice base and you are ready to layer up. I just washed my hands just because I did apply that with my hands. Also, I've been continuing on with the same kind of thing. Private Island by Fenty Beauty. I don't really do the whole face contour thing. It's basically just been adding a little bit of color to my face with Sky and I watching so many of these walking tours, you guys. Like, maybe it sounds weird. It has been the most relaxing thing. We have been absolutely binging this one in Postiano, Italy, and oh, it's so beautiful there. And it is least curbing my my wanderlust heart like a little bit and adding a bit of color. I just cannot wait to get a summer glow again because your girl is very pale. I'm gonna go in with Melba. This is the Powder Blush by MAC. This has definitely been a favorite of mine. It's not too, too pink. It's not too coral. It's just kind of somewhere nice in the middle and it adds a little bit of nice color without being totally overbearing on your skin. So another reason why I love watching favorites videos is because it's tried and true products and it's products that people actually use all the time every single day. And this is a product that I got from Anna, from the Anna Edit, of course. Of course, she's one of my favorites. Um, it's the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP and oh my gosh, take it from the queen of eyebrows. This thing sticks those things down. And one of the toughest things about my brows I find is the hair is just long. Like I desperately need to go and see a brow person. <laughs> but this has been such a savior and I even posted it on my story and she replied being like my favorite and I was like, yes, same. 
this has now become a favorite. So what I like to do is just apply it on my brow, not too much, like just going in with a light touch. And then I'm going to basically brush out and up and set the product when I actually put in uh, the pomade that I put in my brows just to add a little bit of color and just to fill in those little spots. So I have been using the Blonde Volumizing Pomade by Merit and you'll have seen this in my Merit review video. It's a stunning product. I absolutely love it. Inside there are little flecks that help fill in your brows and I have been loving those big brows lately. And then I also go in with the Precisely My Brow from Benefit. And this is the finished look. I feel like I used to want to have these, you know, nice full eyes with like all this eyeshadow and sparkle and things like that. And now it's honestly all about the brows. And I'm just gonna finish off this look with a little bit of lip care as well as the NARS mascara. It would not be one of my favorites videos if I didn't use the Laneige sleeping mask as my lip care. I think I have influenced quite a few people to give this a go or give this a try once again. And I'm also happy to say that if you are a Sephora member, this is one of the birthday presents. You can get a small one and you'll also get a sleeping mask and a nighttime cream all in the little kit. Get that one. It's so good. It'll be such a good tester for you. I have these hideously outgrown nails because I got them done when I got engaged, which is so crazy. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it up above. But they're quite grown out. <laughs> I am stressing out. I should have gotten them taken off uh, right before lockdown, but I'm just gonna need to continuously shave them down because I'm not about picking them off, not about that life. Who knows? Finally, I will finish it off with my lip oil from Merit, and this is in the color Marrakesh. Now, I wouldn't say this is one of my favorites, but I like it. And the reason why I won't say it's one of my favorites is because it doesn't last on your lips very long, but boom, if you're doing a little photo, if you're just popping out, if you're just, you know, shooting a little clip for Instagram stories or something like that, it's very nice. And it's like, look at that, it's beautiful. It's very hydrating looking, which is good, but I think that if you wanted this color or the look of it to be on your lips for a while, just get ready because you are going to need to reapply quite a bit. One of my birthday presents, you guys. Like, I asked for this and I don't even know how lucky, I, I feel so lucky to have gotten it, but Scotty and his parents, he, they helped out as well for the birthday gift. They got me the Dyson Crow. So I'm very excited because I can do my hair right here. Sometimes I'll be watching Rosie, like doing my hair walking around, which is phenomenal. I have fully charged it, which is great, and turn it on here and then it shall heat up. But if you guys wanna see, I was thinking of doing a Dyson Corral review video for women with finer hair and how it works out. I've been loving it so far, so that's a little bit of a spoiler. But I do feel like I have some learning to do. It does create the most stunning curl though. My hair has been in such good sorts lately. I've been doing a ton of masks like Olaplex Oil, Olaplex Number 3 Take Home Kit. I love the shampoo I've been using. I think I showed you guys that already. If not, I'll pop in some B-roll right here. That's it telling you that it's good to go, which is so cute. It's like, bing, I'm ready to go. And one of the things that I also really love about it just before we do that video is say you heat it up it heats up so quickly, it's already at 210 degrees. I'm like swapping this all around. But if you don't use it quick enough, it will start to turn off and downgrade that heat. And it will give you a little warning as well. It, it does like a different like bing bong kind of, kind of thing. So let's quickly just work out this hair. was one whole go over now mind you I do have finer hair so there's not too much to go over and I try to choose really big chunks when I separate it but not much battery use at all so I'll just go put it back on its stand and get to go I love the weight of it as well this is the final little makeup look and hair look and I've got one of my favorite white t-shirts on it's by Sunday best from Aritzia it is so thick so comfortable washes so well and as well just my Levi's wedgies jeans I feel as though 
They make me work better having jeans on. I know that sounds psychotic to some people. Don't judge me. And speaking of work, we have a lot to do. We've got a ton of editing to do today. We recorded a podcast just yesterday with Frankie, uh, one of my bosses and men mentors. We started a podcast called Life Seeds where we talk about gardening and life and lessons that we learned from the garden. And we interviewed a woman named Allison and she's a winemaker and she had so many cool little like tips and stories and things like that. So I have to edit that. I have to edit the video for yesterday that I did that was supposed to go out yesterday. I'm going to put that out today. It is now Monday and I think this video is going to go out Wednesday. So we'll get to editing that as well. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day. I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight So I was thinking of favorites and today I've been listening to Armchair Expert and as well one of my absolute favorite people from New Girl Lamorne Morris who plays Winston Winston! <laughs> and Scotty as well has made muffins which is also a pretty good favorite of the day and what, peanut butter, also a favorite. Also a fave. Can you tell them what you did the first time you made these? Because it's so, so funny. Instruction set. Set it at 200. No problem. Set it at 200. And they were taking a while. And I took them out of the oven and they were like a little puddle in a little <laughs> muffin dish. And I was like, what's going on? Because I did not want to burn them. And then, admittedly, called my mom, said, you cook these all the time. Why is this not working? And she said, what did you set it at? Long story short. 200 Celsius is supposed to be 400 Fahrenheit. Um, I just read 200. I think it's so great. Pro tip though, I'm trying this out. Added PB to the muffin batter. Ooh! I'm walking through an intersection. Favorites, our kills. Our kills, also a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and you put PB on it. Yeah, it's called a double PB. You put a PB in it and on it. PB from a BB. And what are you doing? Hmm? Mmm. Something with dough. Yeah, pizza, I think. Rosie, come. Part of the favorites. Food. Always. Um, I'm just editing a video that I believe should be up before you're watching this one. I will link it up above. Do you want to look at these with me? Yeah, I think there's only three. Yeah, we got four recipes though, so they must have just forgot to add a card. It's okay. Oh no, how are we gonna know? Oh yeah, because hopefully it's not a hard one. Oh, well, we can, oh, look we can look it up online. I was just knowing it. So we usually get good food. This is not sponsored. Would love that. And we got cheese, tortellini, pomodoro. We also got pancetta zucchini flatbread, honey soy glazed chicken, and... Middle Eastern style spiced beef platter. Ooh. Oh, that's one of our favorites. I think we actually have had that one before. So, speaking of favorites, I think we're going to discuss, because this is actually one of my favorites, whenever we get the chicken thighs and the rice. I Let's love do that. that. You wanna do that one? Yeah. This is what we're having for dinner tonight. These food boxes are definitely part of our favorites because when you have a busy day like this, and it's so different too, I know we're not taking care of kids, but just running after Rosie all day, Scotty's working, I'm working, um, to figure out what we're gonna have for dinner has always been our biggest qualm, our biggest like frustration, and that just has completely taken that away, which has been really nice. And then also, I have found that when I am getting really, really stressed, when I'm too in my head, when I'm feeling really anxious, actually making a meal can just totally take that away. Like, it just gives me a moment to tune out, maybe put on a podcast, put on music, put on nothing even sometimes, or watch a show. And, um, <laughs> Rosie's just peeing over there, so that's why Scott said, Rosie, not a part of our favorites. <laughs> not a part of our favorites. But anyways, what I was saying is it's just, um, 
it's nice sometimes to make a meal. I think a lot of us have been figuring that out. However, if we didn't have this right now, on Fridays and Saturdays, we tend to hashtag support local. So uh, with this being a favorites video, I will put down a couple of our favorite restaurants down in the details below if you live in like the Burlington, Oakville, Hamilton area. This looks so good. Well done. I was gonna do a little shot of you making dinner, but I feel like whenever people are doing these videos, it's like, okay, just show me the finished product already. Unless it's an ad sponsor or something. We're gonna dive into that. Speaking of favorites, we just finished Silicon Valley on Crave. Is it on Crave? On oh, Crave. We really, really liked it. We thought it was so interesting and just like fun to watch. And now we have just started Your Honor. And the first episode was so intense. So um, I think we're gonna dive into that. And we've heard such good things just about the series. There was one thing that happened that was totally unexpected. So I think we're just gonna enjoy our dinner, do that. I'm literally uploading a video right now and this camera is way too heavy to be a vlog camera. So I'm gonna put it down. Just to change things up and to also incorporate even more favorites, I got these lounge pants at Zara a couple of weeks ago and they have just simply become some of my absolute faves. When it comes to light lounge pants like that, I mean, Zara is totally good enough for purchasing those. And then this knit I have purchased from Aritzia and that was around the time of Christmas. Um, but if I see it on their website, I'll let you know because oftentimes with these like kind of classic cable knit pieces, they will just have them all year long. I just thought of one of the best best favorites that I wish I had mentioned, but I didn't do any jewelry stuff today, but I ended up purchasing this Majuri jewelry box and I was taking off my rings, putting them back in their little slots here. And I gotta say, this has been such a favorite. I love the organization factor and the fact that I got it monogrammed, I thought that would just be such a beautiful gift for someone um, or yourself. Like I purchased it for myself and I just love how simple it is there on my vanity. All right, so the last step in my everyday favorites, follow along with me, live my favorites. So sorry, I kind of need to clean this mirror, but we're making it through, is when we finally take everything off, like all that makeup and everything. So I have been absolutely loving the Drunk Elephant Batiste. I don't know if it's just best number nine, but I don't think that really matters. The Jelly Cleanser, I had run out of it in between the quarantines, classic. Um, and I had just, I've been just noticing such a big difference in my skin. I love the way it takes off my makeup. I love the way it makes my skin feel after. And I just feel like it just really preps my skin, gets it ready for the skincare that needs to happen after. This is a product that I have mentioned time and time again in a favorites video. And I can't believe how much of this I've already used since purchasing it. I ended up saving up like so many of my optimum points that I actually got $85 off. That's how much of my optimum card I had been saving points. Collect those points, my friends, if, especially if you are in Canada. So this is the Biotherm Life Plankton Elixir. And essentially, I remember going to a PR event, remember those, <laughs> back in the day. And they were talking about eight days to change your skin and this life plankton, they have found it deep within caves and they are managing uh, to make it in labs, but it is phenomenal. I love the product, love the smell, love the feel, love the way it makes my skin feel. And then as well, just from this morning, I am again going to be using the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew just because I have absolutely been loving that as well. And if we're talking favorites, I might switch to another cream sometimes at night, but that one truly is my favorite. And then one thing that I promised that I'm gonna to try to get better at is moisturizing my body and moisturizing my hands. And Loxaten sent me this beautiful package and this has quickly become one of my favorites and it is their just dry skin hand cream. This is so luxe, so lush. And with the key there on the end, you can really make sure that you get every single piece of product because I know that that is more of like an expensive product versus just drugsto uh, drugstore. 
So I'm gonna take off my makeup. Thank you guys so much for following along. We've already seen my bare face <laughs> so long in this video, so I think I'm gonna spare you. And one last thing, now that I'm thinking of it, because I wanted to mention this, this is a gift that my mom got me for my birthday. It is this bath little trolley. I will link down below because she bought it on Amazon if I can find the exact one. It adjusts, it has like these little sticky pads under it so it doesn't move. And it has just been my absolute favorite thing. My absolute favorite thing when I have a bath at night because I can put my iPad on there, my hair mask, like anything I need, maybe a little snack. It's been the bomb. If there is something that you guys have been loving, please link it down below or something that you wanna try that was in this favorites video. And let me know if you liked this style of video. Again, I was so inspired by Anna, Anna Newton from the Anna Edit. She has been doing these and I will also link up one of her videos down below because she does one of these every month now, which I just love following along with her. It's a little bit more interesting than just a sit down chat. So I hope you are all doing well. And as always, we'll see you in my next one. Bye.